Welcome back, Warrior Wisdom Nation. Today I'm going to keep on theme with my past uh, couple of videos and do another uh, freeze-dried meal. I think uh, today is from Mountain House. I think my last one was from Mountain House. The one before was from Backpackers Pantry. And um, yeah, I'm hungry. And I figured maybe I'll just do another one of these before I get some food. This one is the buffalo style chicken mac and cheese. Chicken and pasta in a spicy cheese sauce with carrots and celery. Freeze dried. To me, that sounds amazing. Um, I love buffalo flavoring. I love mac and cheese, you know, buffalo chicken. Um, yeah, carrot, celery, all that put together. Buffalo style chicken mac and cheese sounds amazing to me. It may or may not to you, depending on your palate. We are all different, but uh, all of these things sound really good, in my opinion. But we all know that sometimes what something sounds like and what something actually is um, may not be the same. So uh, I'm going to see how this actually tastes and uh, we'll go from there. And once again, in case you haven't seen any other videos, um, these are freeze dried meals. They last like 25 to 30 years. I don't even know what the date is on this one. August 2053. Yeah, so we are in the uh, beginning of November 2024 right now. So that is um close to 30 years 29 and some years that's a long time very very long time and um nutrition facts of course as you know i'm not big on going over these all the way i'll show them to you in this whole container you got 580 calories um 36 grams of grams of protein that's Pretty nice. Um, of course, carbohydrates, fats, vitamins, all these things. But yeah, uh, this is these things are great for um, hiking, camping, um, long-term food storage, you know, emergency prepping, things like that. Um, yeah. And I've only had the two that I've done the videos before, which were, uh, the last one was a mountain house. The one before that was a backpacker's pantry. So they're still pretty new to me. I have a lot of them stored away for emergency food storage and whatnot. But, uh, as far as actually eating them, not a big, uh, amount of experience. Um, but I'm going to do it exactly as it says. Preparation instructions, doing it exactly as it says. I have water boiling right now, so I'm going to go dump that in. And then it says, wait five minutes. Reseal. So I stay another four minutes. So it looks like we're talking about nine minutes here. And I'll be back to show you what it looks like and give you my opinion of what it tastes like and all those good things. Real quick, came back to show you what it looks like upon first opening. Definitely some chicken in there and macaroni and all that good stuff. I don't know, it looks pretty good. We shall see. Okay, I'm back. It has been the roughly nine minutes or so that it says. Oh, I'm not a professional here. Yeah, I did everything it says here. I made it exactly according to these instructions. So, uh, let's see what we have here. Open it up. 
looks a little runny. Quite runny, honestly. But that's what I said to do. I'm going to dump it out of the plate. Uh, you absolutely can't eat it out of the package. In fact, that's part of the um, allure of one of these. Want to take them hiking or camping or wherever in the world. All you need is water. And you can eat them right out of the bag. Everything. But since we're here, I'm going to dump it out. Man, it looks runny. Looks very runny. Hmm? I got it all. Yeah. I made this same mistake on the last uh, mountain house I did in the last video. It was a little too runny and soupy what I would want it to be however I do make it exactly as it says so maybe they're wanting you to add more water than you should or I don't know maybe there's a reason why it's not I mean if you've had these before and you have a you know trick to uh, Knowing how much water to put in them, how long to let them sit, whatever. Please let me know. I would love to know. But I've just done what it says in the package. Um, and so far, two out of two have been way runnier than I would want them to be. Like, and this one especially. This one I think is really runny compared to what I want it to be. It does smell good. And if you take away the soupiness, it looks good. So let me see what it tastes like. Probably gonna drip everywhere, but whatever. Okay, so not bad, but I wasn't blown away by that first bite. Let's try another one here. Sure, I got chicken, carrots, all the things. Hmm. It's not bad. It's pretty good. It's not great. I mean, I actually had much higher hopes for it because I thought I was going to absolutely love it. I really did. Reading buffalo style chicken mac and cheese. Chicken and pasta and a spicy cheese sauce with carrots and celery. Like, I love buffalo flavoring. I love chicken mac and cheese, spicy. Everything said there, I love it. And I also love mixing things into mac and cheese. I always have. I thought this was going to just blow me away. But it did not. Totally. Don't get me wrong, it's good. But the buffalo flavoring is not like, I don't know, not quite buffalo y enough for me. Um, there's a little bit of spice, but not a lot. The flavor in general, like, it doesn't really, I don't know. It doesn't come together like I thought it would. Like, it's, uh, it's good. In fact, if I didn't know what this was supposed to be and you just said, oh, here's your food, I would like it a lot. But what I wanted it to be for buffalo-style chicken mac and cheese it's not quite there, not quite there. It is good. Um, I certainly have no problem eating it and I will eat it. And um, if I was hungry, <laughs> like really hungry, I would like, it would be amazing. 
So for a um, you know long term long term food storage, um, you know emergency prepping, out on a hiking trail or camping or you know backpacking, things to have with you, really good, no doubt. As far as like what I wanted for a meal here at home, Buffalo style chicken mac and cheese, I'll give it like a C. It definitely passes. It did not fail, but uh, it's not great. Not amazing, at least. Well, you live and you learn. Um, here you go. This is it. Anyway, I am going to finish it though. It is good enough to finish and I need to have some supper. So um, that's it for now. Please, uh, please like, share, subscribe, um, comment. Let me know what you would have done differently if you've had this, uh, why I keep getting a little too much soup. I mean, I know why I'm adding too much water, but I'm doing what it says. Apparently, I need to add less. Um, what you think and all that good stuff. Um, thank you and have a wonderful day.